fuck with us Well, we post it every Friday every See Friday. them corn emojis, then you know a nigga wild I'm a jaded Gemini He had to come back with the uh, Astro World update Because when we talked about this last week Like, we were only speaking on, like, what was available at the time And a lot more stuff came out So we just want to, like yeah, Look it was at definitely this stuff. mostly uh, speculation last week for sure because you had the people. Well, the time that we saw it anyway, because like literally yeah, right sure. after the day after, you know, it, it was last even fast. Week for us. Right but for us. You had the people that we had the one person that police were saying got pricked in the neck. Yeah. And was basically drugged. And now they're saying that may have contributed to a lot of this initially, possibly, but it's all speculative. It's possibly. Um, the only yeah, thing like that's for I heard is it was they, overcrowded right. and people probably knew that it was that way beforehand. I've seen uh, cases of people that work there that actually quit the morning of type shit. Like, like, just like out of control. Just like, yeah, like this just looks not safe. Like a lot of stuff is coming out. Um, people are getting sued. Like oh, a lot boy, of shit. Boy, that's an understatement. Yeah, the there's a lot I've of things going on. Like, They've possibly been fudging the number. Like yes. they're, not con they're concealing what really is the toll. I there. think the number because you guys saw how many people were there. Like, there's no way only eight, eight people. people passed away. That's why away. I was thinking maybe it was mostly the people getting pricked. Because I'm like, like you said, that was too many people for if everybody is that congested where it's fatal potentially. You said up to three hundred people got hurt. Yeah, that's a that's a bad ratio. But already. I don't know. I I see I see the intent on why somebody would prick the security so they could get by. But it it just gives me like Halloween drug and candy vibes, where it's like who is just passing out free fent and just like. Hit for no reason, what? like assassinate this nigga. That's like, what I'm saying. Like I'm so bank. confused. Like, he could have died. He could have sure. died if nobody he had Narcan died. on site. If you don't know what Narcan is, basically an opiate blocker. You shoot it up. So like somebody was literally just prepared for an OD. Thank God, because dude would have definitely kicked the bucket for sure. For sure. No, seriously. That's what that thing does. That dog don't play. Well, today, um. Well, not today. Yesterday, it came out that a ninth person, because according to the news, it's only eight people. A ninth person has come out um, as being dead as well as a result from the uh, concert or the festival or whatever. So somebody's family came out or something. Yeah, I know they can't. I know you kind of probably didn't mean to say that, but they can't come out. They're fucking. No, I'm saying it came out because okay, she was in the hospital true. for a bit, and then it was announced that she had passed. Gotcha. Um, but I'm gonna play this because I haven't really heard like what the news is about to say. But I've seen hmm. memorials and stuff, and like the posters at the scene, and there are way more than nine people's names on the posters. From what you saw, I, I'm not. I don't need the exact number, but what, what did it look like to you? When you're talking about it, it wasn't nine people. How many people were on the board? There were saw? different, like, white poster boards, like, think science fair, school poster board. Right. Um, there were multiple, but on one alone, I saw at max, like, 25. See, that's a problem. Because that's yeah. already inflating it twice a mile. Like, I, I really hope to God maybe people that were signing it were just, like, loved ones. Like, bro, I love you. Something like that, because if that was all people... No, because I noticed the names were different. They were saying, R.I.P. this person, R.I.P. that person. Like, instead of being like, this is from so-and-so to the same name over and over again, it was different names. So I wouldn't be surprised if, like, there are people who are maybe in, like, really critical condition, maybe, like, comatose, whatever, and, like, are the same as this person here, and... May, there may be more lawsuits. Like, there may, it could still be drug on. So, longer. there's going to be lawsuits, but then it, there comes a point where a lot of these people might have to even prove that they were supposed to be there. Yeah. Because a lot of these people, from, from what the current estimate is, from what was the initial trajectory there, how many people showed up, because, yeah, you always want to take into account people are going to sneak in. Um, 
But yeah, but you know Travis like yeah, that's encourages what I was about to say. them that's, to sneak in. You're in my head. So that's like, why yeah. I love you, bro. Because you're right there. You get what I'm about to say when it comes to yeah. He low key insinuates that that's like okay with him, but if you're trying to sue somebody, that could be a problem. Yeah, someone in the chat said there are 17 lawsuits pending. That's crazy. I've heard of twice that many so far, and that was at, at least of like yesterday. As of yesterday, I, I heard that. People were like on that for real. And then look, this also doesn't make sense because look over here. Hold on, I'm going to move They're this. They're like 39 or something. Yeah, that's what this. I was about to say. Somebody it said says, 49. Jeez Louise. Look, it says dead bodies in front of us, bro. So you mean to tell me... All eight, now nine, of those people were in the same one spot to the point where you saw them. That's why I'm like, bro, there's more people are going to come out. See, that goes more with the prick on the neck narrative right there. If they're all in the same Yeah, because I see some people in the chat saying that um, somebody came out and said that that didn't happen. Um, I'm gonna, I'm sticking by what I said. I mean, shit, I kind of doubt that whole shit, too, because it's like, it's just giving free drugs on Halloween vibes. Like, why are you going around hitting people with fent? It's not like you can slip them your number and keep them as a customer if they become addicted. Like, there's no, I, it, the scheme doesn't make sense. That's all I'm saying. Like, the scheme don't make sense to me. The only, the only like, flaw on that, though, is why did the Narcan wake that nigga up? Exactly. The security <laughs> guard. But Man. there were other people at the show claiming like the same thing happened to them. Well, we gonna find out. Yeah. In that toxicology. Because you're right. Why would the Narcan, the Narcan work on the security the, guard? Because that, there's no other right. That took that shit from a conspiracy to me to like, all right, that's a problem. Yeah, that's if you weird. have a prick on your neck and Narcan wake you up, nigga. I said this last week. That that can only be one thing. It ain't alcohol. Right. Shit, it ain't even anthrax. It ain't weed, nigga. It ain't alcohol. It's nothing else. It's got to be that dog. It's got to be. Got to be. Only one way. Right. Overnight, a ninth victim died from her injuries. 22-year-old Texas A&M senior Barty Shahani suffered multiple heart attacks after she mm. was crushed and lost in the crowd, according to family. Overnight, Travis Scott and his team saying in a statement they are, quote, actively exploring routes of connection with each and every family affected by the tragedy. Bro, money can't even like fix this, bro. That's where I think they're not they're not really understanding that right. shit. Cuz it's like maybe if one or two people passed away from this, you can like really kind of make it personalized, but at this point, dog, this is something way deeper than that. And like you said, not only you insinuating that you okay with that, bro, but like they're saying that he was tweeting some shit or yeah. something. And I'm like, bro, all of this, don't get me wrong, I know you love your fans, bro. But this shit ain't lining up with that narrative. Everything that's coming out here. And even if you acknowledge one thing, hey, you stopped the show for a second. Even if you stopped the show for a second, you started that bitch the fuck back up, didn't you? And I mean, bro, this ain't the hang Travis and hold Drake accountable show. But I'm like, bro... Somebody's gonna have to pay up. I don't know if it's gonna be the well, insurance company or what, but damn. Well, um, I'm about to show you guys. Uh, this just came out a few hours ago. Of the lawsuits are just stacking up at this point. Um, I saw somebody in the chat said something about they're like hundreds or something. Well, we're about to see because this was just a few hours ago. One week ago, we were in the aftermath of shock and horror. Now the lawsuits against the organizers of that deadly concert in Houston are stacking up. The latest four lawsuits coming from three people here in San Antonio and one in Laredo. And in Houston, with more than 50 lawsuits already filed, mm. lawyers representing hundreds of those injured say they expect at least 90 more. CBS Damn, uh, so, so it's even like more. Yes. Of, somebody said hundreds. I have only really heard crazy. of like 39 at the time. Somebody said 49. Now we up to possibly hundreds. But that adds up to the narrative. Right. That's why when you're talking about eight fatalities, it's like, how many people were there? I don't know, dude. Like, it's. And why didn't this happen at Lala? We seen how crazy that because shit was. Because people. <clears throat> people have better 
uh, organizers, security teams, safety protocol, and stuff like that. You know it's bad when the people who are in charge of keeping shit safe are having a conflict with the person whose concert it is because they have a repertoire of having people break in, rage. They don't have mosh pit etiquette whatsoever. Like, then you're not even stopping. Like, it's just too much. But I want to show you guys what Drake had to say because somebody in the chat said they want to know what Drake had to say about this. He just made a post on Instagram and he said, I spent the past few days trying to wrap my mind around this tragedy. I hate resorting to this platform to... Bro, are you... I'm not going to lie to y'all. This is my first time reading this. I'm sorry. You hate to resort to the platform. Bro, are you for real? This is giving very much like, uh, I hate to come to the common folk, to the peasants and, and converse with y'all. Like, come on, bro. Nah, this is giving. I, I don't really normally do this, but it's like, bro. I don't do this, but uh. That don't even matter, this bro. This one's for you. That doesn't matter, That's bro. What it's for. When you're when you're coming out with something like this, bro, you should probably just get to the point. Bro. Yeah, and you should probably not talk about how you're being how inconvenienced. You, cry, bro. you should probably just like apologize, Damn, send man. condolences. Here, I'm about to move the chat so y'all can read this. My bad, but yeah, this is definitely out of pocket. Like, why was this the route? You went. I mean, at least he spoke up, though, because a lot of people at first were definitely acting like... Quiet. Yeah, and a lot of people, I'm I'm imagining, still ain't talking too much about it, but at this point, it's impossible not to speak about it as well if you're trying to uh, remain doing this. He said, My heart is broken for the families and friends of those who lost their lives and for anyone who is suffering. I will continue to pray for all of them and will be of service in any way I can. May God be with you all. So he's also like, bro, I will slang that money that way. Like, just let me know what I can do. Because honestly, bro, these lawsuits, look, if they really honest about just wanting to sling some money and make it go away, that's what they could, they could just settle. Somebody's not going to do it. I'm going to tell you. They're at One a, of the families, you, you think they're just not going to do it? People, make an example out of them? When you got 150 people, statistically speaking, somebody's not going to bite the bait. Because what are you going to... Okay, 100 people, if you give them all $10,000... They're going to have to do better than that. That's crazy, though. Like, they're going to have to do better than that. I mean, what are you, $100,000 to 100 people? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Somebody's got it, but it's like that. That's that's a stake. But when you look at Drake's house, Travis's house, that's what Travis's I'm saying. They cars, can pay more Drake's than that. cars. That's what I'm saying. They, shit, this shit might get dicey. But I'm like, they yeah, have insurance. Yeah. Who is held accountable? Exactly. Anna reports has and she has won the case. I'll never forget the look of terror on people's faces. Deshaun Isaac is one of more than 200 fans represented by Ben Crump suing Travis Scott and festival promoters. They're all still reliving that horrifying Jesus. Event. I just remember bodies everywhere. There was a girl at one point who was holding my hand. I didn't know this girl whatsoever, but she held my hand. I held her hand as long as I could. Uniqua Smith, a mother of teen twins, attended the festival by herself. I remember Jeez. being crushed from every side by human bodies. All around me. And says a woman behind her began having a seizure. The woman hits oh the ground God. and her feet are next to my feet. The only thing that I can think of is if I trip over this woman's feet, we're going to create a pileup. <laughs> Bro, really? it's like every so single what? person there has said that they've seen somebody as... I mean, that's how it exactly. feels, bro. Then that's why I'm just like, bro, these numbers, bro. It, I know that Travis's family is professional at just cleansing the internet of their fucking bullshit. Like, they're but the there's way too many people here with evidence. Yeah, it's not looking like Warning anything. signs hours before the show even started. The whole time I just kept looking around. I was like, this doesn't feel good. Something's going on. An attorney representing more than 150 people released what he says are internal Houston Fire Department logs stating security had lost control of the crowd early in the morning with calls for medical attention as fans began so i'm sure that the uh videos. people that i was talking about who quit but Scott's probably quit at around that time in the morning 
Like when they first breach. And if that is the truth, by the end, by this time, shit would have been like. Yeah. But there's also gonna also be, because you gotta think, they're rich as hell. People are gonna be like, yo, why you had all day to get out of that motherfucker if it was that bad? Because you know that's what they're gonna do. People think that when you go to court sometimes you got just cause you got a lawsuit, they're not gonna fucking hold you accountable. That's why I'm gonna be like, they're gonna be like, Where's your ticket? How long are you there? What the fuck? Because, bro, they were going to try to not pay at first if if people are not going to take the bait. Whoever's going to get offered the settlement and take it, they're going to get the money. Whoever fights it, that's when it's going to get dicey. Because that's when the real dirt is going to come out. For real. Um, I don't know, dude. This is just bad. Um, (sighs) This is just bad. I feel bad for all of the families involved, especially because, like, Again, we've been in lockdown, you know, like, and then you finally go out and this happens. Um, Also, he's, Travis is also getting, I wouldn't call it canceled. I I told Daniel, I'm calling it like he's getting debabied right now where like any tour with his name on it, he's on vacation. vacation. They're not performing with him. Right. I know Tame Impala has a song with him and they're on tour right now and they completely took his song out off the set list. Um, They've replaced him with other people on different things. Like I've heard that they even took him off of the freaking Kardashians new little Hulu special that they're about to drop. They edited his ass out, his little storyline out. uh, It's not even fair though because she was there too. Like, Right, she was there too, recording inappropriately. Right, so it, it, it's going to be a snowball effect, but I really think that might even be him being like, fuck it, I don't feel like doing it, honestly. Because yeah. I don't think that it's the same as even the baby situation. Because like we've been watching, Travis Scott himself, the only thing he's really guilty of in this situation is not stopping it all together yeah he should have just stopped because he's not the promoter he's not the security he's not the person that's at the gates he he, you get what i mean Mm -hmm. and that's where the disconnect is for a lot of people they're like what that whatever and oh yeah they took him off Fortnite too i forgot about that yeah they took that that is some signs of some deeper shit right there because i don't think he would ever request to be taken off Fortnite, but I mean, yes, they can offer to pay for all the funerals they want, but I'll say it one last time. Not everybody statistically might take that. Right. Just because to pay for somebody's funeral, they have to accept that, and some people are not going to be I feel mad. like people will accept them paying for the funeral, but that's going to be a separate expense from Getting a sued. settlement. Right. Sure. Like, I feel like that is just... Dude, like if Travis people was smart, they would use that to have like a little bit of like a, a, you know, good look in court at least because this shit looks horrible. And I really do think that more people are going to come out. And all, the problem is all of these niggas in their head are expecting a million dollars. Right. There's a hundred minimum. Niggas. Right. They're not getting a hundred million dollars, bro. That's not how this shit works. That's why that last week I said something along the lines. They already view us as numbers, whether it's time. followers, uh, venue mm-hmm. seating people. Like you really gotta keep in mind when there's a group of people because we talked about Woodstock '99, yeah. niggas died, bro. There, there has to be also a certain level of accountability on the goer when you realize when you're going into a fucking hundred thousand people statistically. You're not doing good already, bro. You add alcohol and drugs, you're really not doing good. Yeah, it's just all around bad situation. For you me. add overcrowding, ah, oh, bro. You doing bad now, but fucking the fent needles, the the damn poor planning, and then all ultimately the artist not stopping the show. Right. Disaster, bro. But he should have stopped it. Should've I know a lot of people are like, oh, don't blame it all on him. Like, I'm not going to blame it all on him. But you have to understand, he did plant seeds that inevitably this shit grew. And like, he did stop the show briefly. He did. Multiple and times. And he, he did stop it briefly where he could have just wrapped it up. And it's crazy because since this has happened, there's been so many resurgences of like videos of other artists 
that are not like back in the like, back in the day. Like these are recent. Like there's been a clip of Playboy Cardi. There's been clips of the multiple people, Lil Uzi. Just stopping shows. Just stopping their show and being like, yo, this is too much. Like, y'all are hurting each other. Y'all ain't, like, even, okay, let's go back in the day. Selena, that was a really big thing. There was a show where there were people at the front and they were getting crushed. And she had to, like, calm the crowd down. And, Work. like, bro, it happens. It worked. It happens. Or sometimes you just gotta tell niggas to step the fuck back. Right, if back you up. See a show, back right, the fuck if you up. wanna, you wanna participate, you gotta back up. I don't know, bro. Who was that? That was snapping. That um, the some girls was getting like crushed in the uh, mosh pit. Honestly, it was probably Travis. It probably could have been him. It could have been like I've seen multiple videos. Yeah, of there was another video I saw I about. Like, Right, like it was like, bro, why didn't you? And then people are just always on the conspiracy. Oh yeah, well he just signed the new deal, blah blah blah. And it's like, bro, what nigga in their right mind would want mm-hmm. it this associate? Even if you owe oh, so elite, and I gotta do this sacrifice, bro. You do not want this with your career. You do not want this with your namesake. No matter what, I don't give a fuck what type of ritualistic bullshit you believe in. Nah, bro, that is not feasible for a future, bro. Mm. Like, no, gotta okay. chill. So, shout out to Nia in the chat. It's that was ASAP Rocky. You're right. That was ASAP Rocky. Who was like, bro, Shout you like freaking stomping on the girl. Like, what you doing, bro? Like, telling you. It's crazy. And he's an asshole. He still stopped the show. Right. Shout out to Rocky, man. Damn. <sighs> that shit's disheartening. I know. Man. I hate talking about that shit. I know. It's like it's so bad. Unbelievable. Right. I was cornered from in front of me with Mr. Zeminski and there were Bro <laughs> What? There were people right there Sir They need to lock this nigga up just for this <laughs> Like like it, Uncle Rock. This nigga is guilty. Guilty. This nigga is guilty.